good afternoon. Um, down the street from my house, there's a cute little farmer's market. And so I went there a few days ago and stocked up on some produce and some other stuff. And anyway, I had a head of cauliflower that I was wanted to do something with. And four or five years ago, cauliflower steaks were all the rage. But I still like to work with them. You know, you don't see them too often anymore. But um, you roast them at a high temperature and spread them with all kinds of, you know, different seasonings or whatever you want to do with them. So I had a head of cauliflower. I wanted to make cauliflower steaks. So I did that, but what to, so what to serve with it? So I went into the, my pantry and I found this bag of um, <laughs> truffled Marcona almonds that I bought at Trader Joe's God knows how long ago. And I decided to make pesto. Now pesto is nuts, greens, garlic, cheese, and oil. And you can play around with any nuts, cheese, oil, or greens that you want. You can use kale, you can use chard, you can use anything. This one I used spinach because that's what I had in the in the refrigerator and the Marcona almonds and uh, some Parmesan cheese. And I had some garlic, obviously I always do, and some olive oil. Now, if I could have found truffle oil, I would have done so because the almonds themselves aren't wicked truffly so it's you know it's it's a very subtle subtle um truffle flavor i did use some truffle truffle salt which i happen to have but I, not everybody has that in their larder but anyway um so we made pesto and um i roasted the cauliflower and put the pesto over top of it and it was delicious the first thing we're going to do is make the pesto and here are our ingredients spinach lemon zest almonds garlic olive oil. We're going to toast our almonds. Toasting your almonds brings out the nuttiness and the real flavor of the almonds, so I like to toast them first. Dry pan, high heat, and then we're going to add our toasted almonds to the food processor. And get ready to chop them up. I bought myself a new toy, Ninja. It's got two, double blades. It's awesome. Um, we're going to add our truffle salt to the almonds. Don't try to brush those truffle sauce off those blades or you'll cut yourself. <laughs> I know firsthand. We're going to chop the almonds and the salt together by pulsing. Then we're going to add our cheese. I used Parmesan cheese, as I probably mentioned. And our garlic. Nice whole cloves of garlic. They'll get chopped up nicely. And I threw in some lemon zest just for a little bit of something, something. Lemon zest adds flavor to just about everything. And now we're going to add our spinach. And we're going to turn the machine on. And while it's running through the feed tube, we're going to add our olive oil. And then I'm going to stop it. I'm going to add the juice of half of that lemon that we zested and we're going to continue to run the machine until the mixture is the texture you like it this is the texture I like nicely pureed now we're gonna do our cauliflower you want to look for a nice tight head of cauliflower to do this dish and we're gonna slice it into one inch steaks and the end pieces kind of get crumbly, so we didn't use those. You end up with maybe two or three good steaks of one head of cauliflower. I got three. And there they are. We're going to put them on a sprayed baking sheet. And we're going to save the florets that fell off, that crumbled off for some other use. Pizza crust, uh, riced cauliflower, anything. Fried cauliflower. Uh, we're going to season up some olive oil with some, I'd use some chives, onion powder, garlic powder, some a little more truffle salt. you got to be careful with the truffle salt because you don't want your dish to be too salty. And then we're going to take a little brush and brush our cauliflower steaks with the olive oil mixture. We're going to bake them in the 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And when they come out, we're going to turn them over. At this point in the cooking time, you should use a spatula so they don't break apart. We're going to brush the other sides with the olive oil mixture and bake for another 10 minutes. 
And when they come out, they are beautiful and tender. And you can eat those stems. You want to top with your pesto? I added some green beans too, and I chopped up some of those um, the truffle almonds and made this nice dish, and it was delicious.